Well, I think the, the biggest myth is that throughout history, science and religion have been at odds. A TV NUP desembarcou no Congresso Internacional de História da Ciência e Tecnologia, na UFRJ. Nós entrevistamos vários pesquisadores que estão entre os principais nomes na área de História da Ciência e Religião. E você confere agora uma das entrevistas que fizemos. Ok, então, so, Ronald, números. Uh, primeiro de tudo, é um prazer ter você aqui. Você organizou o Galileu Goes to Jail? Sim. Right? Uh, where you you gather several myths about yes. the relationship between science and religion. So, what is the biggest myth about uh, this relationship? Well, I think the the biggest myth is that throughout history, science and religion have been at odds, even in a state of warfare or conflict, and this has been for maybe about 100, 150 years, the default uh, narrative. Uh, and professional historians have studied uh, the relationship, or I should say the relationships between science and religion. Uh, they've discovered that, uh, yes, sometimes there are conflicts, uh, but Uh, just as many times there's cooperation and support and a lot of people fall back on the Galileo experience uh, which is distorted in order to make it as gruesome as possible. Certainly Galileo was uh, prosecuted but he was not put in jail. He was treated as a fairly honored guest of the Inquisition. For a long time, in the 17th century and early 18th century, uh, the idea was Protestants were accusing Catholics of inhibiting the progress of science. And it was the papacy that shut Galileo down or tried to shut him down. But there was no notion really that all religion uh, was opposed to scientific progress. By and large, the notion was that uh, science revealed uh, God's power and glory and design. And there was a lot of uh, a lot of emphasis on, uh, even among Enlightenment thinkers, on obtaining evidence of God and God's characteristics through the study of nature, natural theology. And that was very popular, uh, despite some criticisms in the 18th century. Uh, its heyday was probably in uh, the first half of the 19th century. Se você quiser saber mais sobre esse assunto, aqui na descrição a gente vai deixar links e mais informações. E se você gostar desse vídeo, não esquece de curtir, compartilhar, comentar e principalmente se inscreva no canal da TV Noobs para não perder nada de novidade que sair.